Normally, I would give you all this information when I'm handing over the keys, but this way it will allow for so better social distancing with the added bonus that you can look back in it if you forget anything. So, first of all, can you please check the fuel gauge is reading exactly the same as the reading on your hire agreement? If it isn't, let a staff member know before you go. You really must report any shortfalls before you go as we will have to charge for any fuel shortfalls if it is low when you come back. Most of the vans have got push buttons and the key fobs to open all the doors, but if your key doesn't have the buttons on it or the buttons fail to unlock the doors, this is what you'll need to do. To unlock the front doors only, insert the key into the driver's door lock and turn the key clockwise once. If you need to open the cargo area as well, you need to insert the key into the driver's door lock, turn the key clockwise once, let the key back to centre and then turn clockwise again. If you're returning the vehicle outside hours, please park in one of the two spaces in front of the red garage door in a way that will allow two vehicles to park at the same time, i.e. hard to the left or hard to the right. None of these spaces are available and you do have to use the on-street parking. Please remember, most of the time it's paid parking and it's limited to three hours. You don't have to pay for parking on Sundays, but you do have to pay Mondays to Saturday, 8am to 8pm. Some of the bigger vans are too big to park in front of the garage without blocking the footpath, so please take a minute to think about when you do plan to return. When you do return, please check the vehicle for any personal belongings before depositing the keys through the black key letter blocks in the small red garage door. Don't put the keys in envelopes because it will clog up the chute and it will make it easy for someone to fish out the keys and potentially make off with the vehicle that you've just returned. If you've got any kind of problem or breakdown during the hire, there's an AA telephone number and a sticker on the windscreen. And also, the number's also in the key fob as well. If it's during office hours, can you please call the office first? I hope I've covered, ev covered everything, but if you've still got any questions, please see a member of staff before you drive away. Thank you for listening. Thank you for using you drive and low-cost car and van hire. If you think this has been helpful, we'd love to hear any feedback. All the contact details are on the website lowcostcarandvanhire.co.uk